socks on. Get your socks on. Where are my socks on? You've got the shorts on back to front. <laughs> Get them round. It's because of that. Mm -hmm. Because the lane was at the front, it makes me really confused. Better move on, brush your teeth, laddie. Come on. Um, I have to think very carefully about what's upstairs and what's downstairs in the house to have as few stair lift trips as possible. With times how long it took the stair lift to get from the bottom to the top, and it was 40 seconds. I mean, think about that. How many times do you want to be forced to sit down and travel up a stair for 40 seconds up and 40 seconds down every day? 40 I, seconds? I tried to use I'm the surprised. time to think. I said it was slower. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you want to attach a turbo boost, don't you? Well, we both do really. That'd but be amazing. It would. Right, goodbye, you two. Bye. Have a good day. I'm feeling a bit down this afternoon. It's partly just because I've woken up from a daytime sleep, which is never a good time for me. And I was going to get up and pick Jacob up from his street dance club at four. Um, but Mark said he would go, which is really brilliant. Just means I don't need to rush up. I can just kind of slowly wake up, which feels a lot better. But I've been feeling a bit down uh, just the last couple of days. It's partly because it's been really rainy and windy and I'm a bit scared in the wind that'll get blown over. Although, ironically, Mark loves the wind because it means that he can go kite surfing or sailing or something. So uh, we have a bit of a difference when it comes to the wind. But I'm pleased for him that he can go out and really just blow the cobwebs away because he loves it. And we do try to encourage each other to do things that we love. One of my things is creativity and I go to a life drawing class and I went last night... Um, it was great, I loved it. But I, the place that I have the class doesn't have a disabled toilet, which is basically fine because I do use just normal like female toilets. But um, the best way to, for me is if I leave my walker outside because they're usually quite tight spaces, female toilets. So I usually leave it outside and walk in. And I went to use the loo and I just found it really hard to get back up. And I'm finding it increasingly hard to get up from the seating position and it just makes me feel really rubbish. It's like such a basic thing just to be able to get up. It makes me scared not being able to get up. And it wasn't so much that I thought I'm totally stuck on the toilet <laughs> and I can't see the funny side of that and knowing me. I'd probably make some great hilarious tale out of it to tell people, which I do, because I like to laugh. <laughs> and you've got to laugh. And man, I have laughed and I do laugh, but it's not so much just the toilet, it's just the sort of freedom of getting up and down. And I mean, I can get up and down off a chair that has arms, you know, and if there's something to hold or grab, like a grab rail. And in our house, in the toilets, we've got higher up toilets. They're normal toilets, but they're just a bit higher and obviously we've got grab rails and everything um but oh it's just such an effort like just oh, it's like I can't really describe it it's just I've got wasted muscles right right up the back of my legs and into my glutes and you, just, you need a lot of strength to get up and down off the sit seated position and it truly really got to me last night when I thought it's so hard to get up off this top I had to grab hold of the toilet roll holder, tried about three times to get up and it's not like I was in a panic because I knew I would get up eventually. I just have to slow down and say it's okay, but these are just such basic functions, you know. I would give a lot to have a day off. I even just think if I could swap with someone for a day. I'd just swap with someone so that they could know how bad it feels. <laughs> it sounds, it's not I wish it on them. I wouldn't wish it on anyone for more than 24 hours, but I could have it. Oh my goodness, what I would do. I would stay up all night. 
I would stay up all night and go dancing in heels. I, like, I literally wouldn't sleep because I'd have the energy, just imagine. And I would just do really normal things. Like, no, actually, no, I wouldn't. I'm going to say I would go to the supermarket, but you know what? I would not. I'd go to the beach and skip down the beach and just go dancing. That's what I'd love to do. And just, oh, go for a run, maybe climb up a mountain. I mean, it, I would have a lot to fit into 24 hours. And I'd like a bit of warning, so I could invite all my best people to do it with, um, including Jacob and Mark, obviously. It's kind of a dream, though. It's not really real, is it? But this is real. And it's not easy. I'm not going to pretend. I count my blessings and I know that I'm not living in Syria and I I really am so mindful of the things I'm thankful for and the riches that I have but joy and pain go together don't they the joy and the pain and they do you can't separate them and if you want as Brenny Brown would say if you want to feel one you've got to feel the other you can't have one without the other unless you numb them all and that's no life at all. Okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to take a painkiller. And then my gorgeous boy, boys actually, but my gorgeous little one, will walk in the door and his gorgeous face brings me joy. <laughs> and I'm really lucky.